Hey guys, welcome to my vlog. Just like that. Okay, so Casey's taking over the channel today. <laughs> Hey girls, it's Blaze, and in this video, my hair and my makeup and my outfit are all similar to another video I've posted, and that's because it's still the same day. Um, when I stopped my last, when I stopped, when I finished my last video, it was about half eleven. It is now twenty to five, um, so I'm kind of pushed for time at the moment because I have somewhere to be. Um, it sounds really rude. I have somewhere to be. I'm going to Brighton tonight with my boyfriend to see some friends, so I've got to get ready for that in a minute because I. <laughs> um, not that there's anything wrong with this, I freaking love this, but it's not fitting with what I'm doing. We're just like chilling and having drinks, so I feel like my outfit's too extravagant for them. <laughs> so um, I've got a new dress top thing that I bought today, so I'm probably just going to change into that and do some different makeup. Um, it's got a bit cakey around my nose, so I want a like, fresh face. Anyway, oh, what a boring intro. This is a vlog of the vintage fair that I went to today. I went to Lulu's Vintage Fair. They do have a Facebook page where you can find events near you, so I'll link that below in case any of you guys are interested. I'm um, also really sorry about the poor lighting in here. It's, um, it's not <laughs> the morning anymore with bright light, so we've just got like the lighting in my bedroom because I don't have super cool lights, so you can't even, you can't even tell what colour my freaking eyes are. How bad is it? None of my eyes are interesting. Like, you know. um, yes, so. I'm not going to talk for too long because I'm hoping I've got enough footage that the vlog is going to be interesting and fun and great and I'm really proud of myself that I managed to vlog it because this is the first like proper vlog that I've done so it was really fun and I had a really good time so I'm going to go up to the vintage fair. We are at Guild Hall, I'm pretty excited, we're going to go, we're going to do this, Casey's walking away from me. Back. This is a proper introduction. We don't look related at all. Would you believe we're sisters? Would you fuck? Oh, the clock's going. Everything's going.
and I'm so excited and the low fork is also a knife. <laughs> Okay, so we've just gone around the whole vintage fair and we've worked out an appetite so now we are eating cake, of course, mm -hmm. and the light keeps changing every two seconds in here so it's going to be a really oh, my poorly lit that. vlog. Um, so yeah, I have red velvet, Casey has, is it chocolate Oreo, something, something with cream it's cheese. It's cream cheese icing and it's incredible. So yeah, I'm pretty excited to try mine. So that was the fair that I went to today and it was super good, I had a really good time um, and I picked up a few bits so I'm going to show you guys now what I got. I also tried to, um, that's going to be really noisy, I tried to grab um, business cards from all the different places I went to in case any of you guys see something you're interested in and then you can go ahead and find that stuff online. I'm not certain that all these places have online things but you know, I tried. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure this was the first place I went to, so I got something from this little bag. I just picked up two things that were a pound each, and these are Italian postcards, and I'm not sure when they're dated from. I assume it was say on the back. No, I don't know. And they're in these little laminate pouches, but you can easily take them out. So this is the first one. I'm going to take it out, otherwise it's going to be too shiny on the camera. I just thought they were like creepy and weird, so I'm really into that. I think I'm going to frame these and put them on the wall um, when I get my new flat in hopefully June time. I'm going to do like a whole wall of random bits and bobs. So there's the other one. Like I said, they were a pound each. And I'm pretty sure these were from Kipper and Bow Vintage. So they've got an Etsy and an Instagram, which I'll link below. There's the business card. So yeah, pretty cool. They did they had loads of um prints and um imagery from imagery like drawings from the 40s, 50s, and so on. It was really cool. I also went to this incredible stand which is called Neat Treats, Sweet Treats Made by Tipsy Unicorns. Um, they do handmade fudge, handmade fudge, marshmallows and other treats and they do have an online store and a Twitter, an Instagram and a Facebook so I'll link those below. And they had like samples of stuff and I tried, I think it was like unicorn cookie dough fudge. It was incredible, it was so good. But I had to pick up this once I saw it. This is 100 grams of Prosecco marshmallows. How amazing is that? I've not tried one yet, but um, maybe I'll try a bit now to tell you guys how it, it smells like I think I've vlogged too much my camera battery. battery? My card was full. Anyway, so I just tried some of the Prosecco marshmallows and if you're not a fan of super strong alcohol, probably don't buy these because they taste quite strong, but they were so good. I wonder if they'll get me drunk. We'll find out. I'll eat them on the train. <laughs> Um, next thing I got was this blouse which was on a stand where everything was £8 or you could get 3 for 20 I found two things I really loved but I didn't want to just buy another thing for the sake of buying one so I just picked between the two things that I found and bought one instead um, which is this blouse and it looks massive but it's like a big oversized white blouse with lace detailing um, down the sleeve and it's got like a big wide sleeve so it's attached further down than it should be um, and this is from the 1970s I believe yeah 1970s and it's really super cool and I've got a couple of pinafores that this would look really cool with and I will see if I can find the seller so it is the Attic, which is based in Bournemouth. Decades of women's and men's vintage and retro clothing, accessories and costume jewellery. A warm welcome at affordable prices. So that is that. And they have a Facebook page and an Instagram. So again, I will link those below if you guys are interested. That was a really cool stand. I really enjoyed that. And then the final place I went to, which did not have 
business cards, so I can't tell you where I got this from, I'm really sorry. But this is my favourite thing that I got besides the Prosecco. <laughs> and um, it is a Betty Page print portrait image. I don't know what to call it, but I am in love with this. Betty Page is freaking amazing and it's just so cool. There were several different um, options of different Betty Page prints. There was a devil, there was like a black mermaid. Um, oh, so cool. There was another one, but I can't remember what it was, but this was my favourite one. I just love the outfit, the shoes, the pose, everything. It's incredible. So again, that's going to go up on my wall when I move into my new flat. And that was £5, which is amazing. And then other than that, I went to a couple of high street stores because I was spending the day with my sister. And I bought this, I'm not sure if it's a dress or a top, I think it's a dress. It, um, it's probably midi length and it has just a print of different different print of cats all over it like leopard cat things and I feel like this is such a crazy cat lady dress and I adore it so I bought it <laughs> um, that was reduced to four pounds so I was like why not so I think I'm gonna wear that tonight but I'm not sure what with but that's really cool. I also have a um, pub crawl coming up that's Disney themed and I didn't want to be super, uh, what's the word? Like predictable and go as like Jack Skellington or Ursula or you know, like my favorite Disney character, Ariel. I didn't want to be super like predictable and I thought it'd be really funny if I went as something that's like the opposite of me so I'm gonna go as Princess Sophia so she's from like Disney Junior Disney Junior is that right and um yeah she's like aimed at like very small children but I'm gonna go as her so it's gonna be really fun so I bought some blue contact lenses because she has blue eyes and it's really hard to see but these are blue and I can't link these online because it's from an independent shop in Southampton so you won't be able to find, I don't know, maybe you could find the brand if you're interested, it's iSpy. I assume they're pretty cheap because the store is like a cheap store. But that's what they look like. And I threw in um, like the lotion and the case and stuff, even though I already have it, but I threw it in for free so I wasn't going to say no. And that is everything that I bought today. Um, a little bit of a random haul at the end there, but um, obviously the main focus is the vintage fair. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I had a really good time today filming it for you and if you want to see more vlogs let me know down below. If I ever do anything interesting again I'll be sure to vlog it for you guys. Um, tell me down below what your favourite item was and if you'd be interested in going to the vintage fair. And yeah, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.